Greeting everyone and welcome to Yazincom channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you will receive our latest videos on different lab testing procedures, methods, and many more. Our topic today we will be about one of the most annoying bacteria that exists in the oil and gas industry, SRB, sulfate reducing bacteria. Without wasting further time, let's learn something about SRB. Sulfate reducing bacteria are bacteria that can obtain energy by oxidizing organic compounds or molecular hydrogen while reducing sulfate to hydrogen sulfide. The SRB are anaerobic bacteria, they do not require oxygen to exist and multiply, they live on sulfur. Perhaps the most well-known group of bacteria responsible for corrosion in the oil and gas industry are the SRB bacteria. In this video, we will talk about the dilution series for detection of SRB bacteria. First, arrange the selected media vials into a dilution series. The selected media should approximate the condition of the temperature TDS of the sample of water being tested. Wipe the rubber caps of the media vials with a sterile alcohol pads. Using a sterile disposal syringe, withdraw 1 ml of the sample and inject it into bottle number 1 and discard the syringe. Mix the content thoroughly by vigorously shaking the vial. Some bubbles may appear and this is normal. Make sure to note down the change in the vial that may cause a false positive. A false positive means if the sample fluid injected into the vial contains a significant concentration of a dissolved sulfide, the first or the second vials in the dilution series may turn to black. With a new sterile syringe, withdraw one ml of the solution from bottle number 1 and inject it into the bottle number 2 and discard the syringe. Mix the content thoroughly by vigorously shaking the vial. Repeat this process for all the remaining dilution vials. Incubate the vial at the temperature at which the original sample was collected, plus 2 degrees. Call for 28 days of incubation for the SRB media. Indicator for SRB As a sulfite reducing bacteria reduce sulfate to sulfide, this sulfide then binds with the dissolved iron in the SRB media, creating a plaque precipitate, which is the iron sulfide. This plaque precipitate indicate that the vials is positive for SRB bacteria growth. Record the number of the positive vials. Here we reach to the end of today's video. If you would like to receive our latest video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like and share those videos with your friends. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.